Hello everybody. Well, today we are going to take a look at this Brava Metro uh, EL6082 lever set. So this is a passage passage set. Alright, so this one here is made by Brava, which is a locksmith brand. Okay, it's a very good quality brand of locks. Okay, very recommended. Okay, much better quality than what you find at Bunnings. Okay, um, and this is a commercial commercial grade fire rated lock. So this type of lock here is commonly used in commercial applications, but you can use it for residential as well. Okay, this one here comes standard at 70 mil, and this one here is in satin stainless, which is satin chrome, and it's suitable for 35 to 45 mil door thickness. Okay, so this is the box it comes in. Okay, um, so let's open it up, do an unboxing, and see what we get in the box. Okay, so here's the lock, the lock itself. Okay. Okay, so there's our lock right there. We have our latch, we have our screws, our striker plate, our strike keeper, and of course our tool to remove the handles. Okay, so this is everything that you get in the box. All right, so um, so so this is um, a 70 mil latch here. This is what you get as standard. If you do need, the latches come in three different lengths. You got 60 mil, 70 mil, and of course 127 mil. For 127 mil, you need an extension to make the latch longer. For 60 mil, you basically just buy a shorter latch, which is this one here. As you can see, the difference in the length there, the 60 mil is shorter, as you can see right there. Okay, okay, but it comes standard at 70. All right, um, this is your striker plate right here. This is a um, stainless steel striker plate, and it's pretty strong. Okay, it is commercial, commercial grade, and it is fire rated. The lock is commercial grade. Okay, and of course, um, so that's your strike right there. It's actually stainless steel. It does come with a protective coating on, but I've already taken that off, okay? Okay, and there's your latch right there. Once again, it would come with a protective coating over it, but I've already removed it. This is your little um, keeper for the strike. This would go underneath here, okay? If you're installing that in a timber door jam, you generally install that, but a lot of people don't install that, okay? But it is there if you wish to install it. This tool here is used to um, remove the, the handles, and I'll show you that. Inside here, you have all your screws. <clears throat> all right. Okay, so you got four of these screws here with a wood thread and a metal thread. Two will be for the latch and two will be for the striker plate. You got these two long metal thread screws here. They're to screw the lock onto the door. And then you've got two more wood screws there. There for going underneath the uh, the bevel. It does come with two other little parts in there, but those are pretty much irrelevant. You don't use those. A lot of people don't use them. Okay, th those are generally just for your recycling bin. Okay. Okay, so there's our, our latch right there. Okay, so this particular lock here is a, um, a passage lock. So on both sides have no key, no button, no nothing. It's basically just passage passage latch. Okay, so this lock basically just holds the door shut. Okay, so this lock here is commonly used on bedrooms, okay, or laundries or anywhere where you want it to remain free to enter and free to exit at all times. Okay, so this type of lock is just a passage lock, so it doesn't lock at all. Okay, both of these handles will always be free at all times. So you can always get in and you can always get out. All right, so that's why it's commonly used on a bedroom. Okay, um, so this particular lock here is a bayonet fitting. Okay, so all commercial grade locks are bayonet fitting. Okay, so the latch basically just slides on like so. Okay, so that's um, how that works. And when you pull your, your handle down, it will retract the latch, as you can see right there. Okay, so um, so um, so this particular one here is known as the EL series, which is a lever set. It does also come in a knob set, which is an EA series, which is knobs instead of levers. Okay, but this one here is the the lever set. Okay, um, so um, now this is the new design. It's got these black inserts to comply with disabled regulations. Okay, so to install the lock is quite simple. What you need to do is you need to um, Use this tool to take the handle off on the inside. You simply depress this button right here, okay, and then you can pull the, the inside handle off, and then you can pull the bevel off, okay. And now, once you have the lock in this, um, this like this, you'll need your 54 mil hole in the door, and of course, you need a 22 uh, mil uh, spade bit or speed bore for the latch, okay. So first thing you do is you install your latch, okay. Um, and then you um, would slide this lock body through. Now this is adjustable, so to adjust it, you simply just spin this bevel on the outside. So if you're gonna be installing this on a thick door, you spin it, um, 
you spin it, of course, anti-clockwise. If you're going to install it on a skinny door, you spin it this way, okay? So you simply have it adjusted so the lock is centered in the middle of the door. And then you simply slide your latch on like so, okay? You then separate these two pieces here, okay? So this is your, um, your fixing plate. So once you get your latch in, you simply just pop that over the top. Okay, well, it's a bit, a little bit corroded there. You then use the two long gold screws, so one here, one here to clamp that on the door. Those two holes there are for those extra two wooden screws. A lot of people don't use them, okay, but they are there if you wish, okay. And then what you do is you put your bevel on, okay, lining up this spring pin with this slot here and lining up this lunk with this little divot like so. Okay, that spring pin pops through, then you just give it a push. Okay, on. I can do it. You simply just push that on. Okay, it's being a little bit stubborn. Okay, but I'll so the way you put that on is you just simply push that on like so. Push that on, lining up that spring pin, and then you just push it in. And as you can see, that lines up. Okay. Okay, and then you simply just put your handle back on on the inside, you push in the button, and then the push it on, and then give it a, a pull, okay, and then the lock is now installed, okay. So that is the Brava, so that's basically the Brava um, EL6082 Passage Lever Set, okay. So this lock here, you can only find at your local locksmiths, you won't find it at Bunnings, because Bunnings don't sell these. These are only available at your local locksmiths, okay? So if you want a good quality good quality lock, I'd recommend this type of lock. Because this is being commercial grade, it's gonna, it's gonna last for years and it's gonna stand up for a lot of abuse, okay? So this is the type of lock that you'd find on a school, you'd find in a, um, a shop, or you'd find um, in apartments and stuff like that, okay? It is recommended to use this in a house as well because these will last for years. They'll last you for years. Okay, so that's all there is to this lock, okay? And once again, it's just the passage, but you can get it in entrance where it has the key and the button on the inside. You can also get it in privacy where it has the button and the emergency override, okay? And you can also get it in a half set where it has um, where it has nothing on the outside. That would be more for a cupboard. You can also get it as a dummy where it's just a, a, just a handle that screws on. You can also get this in um, glass door where it has a key on both sides. You can get it in classroom, storeroom, um, and all those functions so you can actually get the full range okay so you can have them all the way throughout your um your house or your commercial premises without changing the style <clears throat> all right so so that's um all there is to this lock so um hope you enjoyed and that'll be it